Retain gang, what's poppin', man? This is your boy Tay, back at y'all again. I appreciate everybody for clicking on this video. Make sure y'all hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. That way you don't miss a video. I greatly appreciate you. So guys, today I wanna talk to y'all. This is another raw video. Me just speaking my mind. Things I've been thinking about, you know what I'm saying? Um, I want you guys to make sure you are really paying attention to the time that you're in right now. Pay attention to yourself, how you feel, because the energy is very high right now. All right, harvest season. This is why you're seeing a lot of energetic things take place. A lot of things that pull on your energy. You know, a lot of holidays coming up. So all this is by design, guys, because it's a huge energy shift during this time period. Okay, so you got to make sure that you are protecting your energy, but also keeping your energy at a high vibration. Don't get caught up in the BS. All right. You know, I know it's no nut November. So a lot of people's goals right now is to hold on to their seed for the whole month. But I'll do you one further. For me, November is all about realigning myself with my goals and my purpose. You know what I'm saying? Making sure that I'm still on the right track, still still going in the, in the right direction where I can reach my goals. Has anything changed this year? You know, because sometimes you might have goals. I have goals that I wrote down last year, but through the course of the year of just living life, things change. You might have a different perspective. You might have a new goal. So it's good for you to realign yourself with your purpose. And are the goals that you had, are they still something that you want? Or have they changed? You know, sit down with yourself and go through these things. Get you a journal and start jotting down, writing down how you feel. Writing down how do you see yourself in the future. All right? Start using your energy and directing your future. All right? Don't just sit around and think that November is all about just hold on to your seat. No. Start being proactive with your energy. Start learning how to use it. Okay, guys? This is the next level to retention. All right. The next level is learning how to circulate your energy and use it to create your life. All right. At a certain point, you got to get past it just holding on to your seed, just to hold on to it. You got to level up. Okay. There's levels to this thing. So you need to start learning how to protect yourself. Use your energy to protect yourself. Use your energy to direct the flow of your path to your goals. You feel what I'm saying? Don't get caught up and all of the traps, the energy traps that's trying to siphon your energy from you, making you feel sad, making you be at a low vibration, you know, all the, all of the tragic events that's happening. You know what I'm saying? Don't feed too much into those things. All right, guys? Because what you feed your energy into, what you think about, that's, that's what you feed, you know, and, and, and you make that grow. So when you feed a negative thought by just letting it linger, you actually give it power and then it'll, it'll start to manifest in your life. So with all these things that you see going on, don't try to dwell on it so much because you start to manifest that into your life. All right. So it's important this time that you really go within. See, it's cold season coming up. So as cold season approaches, just like you see a bear, a bear hibernates when it gets cold. It goes into the cave and it lays in that cave until springtime. You know, the, the vegetation, the flowers, trees start growing back. So you got to look at nature and you got to move like nature. Cold season, you need to go back within. It's all about building up your energy. Okay? Building up your energy. You have all this energy saved up from the summer from the fall, from the spring, right? Now it's time for you to utilize that energy, go within and reconstruct yourself so that you can evolve. I feel like every year during this time is a year where I get on my grind. Well, not get on my grind, but it's, it's, it's the time of a year where I really start to redefine who I am as Dante, you know, and, and what's next for me, what, what lies ahead. All right, guys, the best way for you to get through this month 
is to be in the present moment. Okay, if you got to, take some time to yourself. Take a day, your day off, where you can be to yourself and do something that you love, whether it's a hobby, whether it's your favorite movie. You know what I'm saying? I know some of y'all gonna be in that call, that Modern Warfare 2. I know a lot of y'all on that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it, but just make sure that you, you know, you don't let it get to your energy because I know how it is, man. You start raging, you know, you losing, you start raging, and that can affect your day. So make sure that, you know, whatever you like doing, make sure that you make sure that you stay in a high vibration. Okay? But it's very important in November that you sit to yourself and just focus on where you want to go. Okay, you got to focus up. Because if you don't focus, if you don't focus, this is how you get taken hostage. You get hijacked, you get body snatched, and you start doing things that you know you shouldn't do. Okay? I use the matrix all the time because that's very real. When you saw Agent Smith could just hijack anybody in the matrix to pursue, you know, Neo or Trinity or whoever, Morpheus, they would just body snatch people. There you go, you see an agent, right? That's real, but that can only happen to you when you're on a low vibration, when you're not aware of what's going on, okay? So this is why you always gotta, every day you gotta have a thirst for knowledge. You guys should be getting books and reading, right? F enriching your mind. Getting knowledge is, is food to the soul, okay? Showing gratitude, doing things that's gonna build up your spirit. This is what we need to get on right now. Affirmations. Right? Watch what you're listening to. Try to, if you can, try to find some music or artist that you like that's that motivates you. Or that, that's very positive, right? That's gonna get you on, on a vibration where you wanna be better, you wanna heal yourself, you know, all of that. Right? Stay away from the negative affirmation music, man. Right now at least. Okay, because things are happening very fast. Things are happening rapidly. All right. Remember, guys, everything happens by design. Nothing happens by coincidence or by chance. Everything is by design. So you got to look at the timing of how things happen and just be aware. Anytime you see a time period where there's a lot of tragedy going on, that's how you know it's a high energetic time in space. Okay, so you got to protect your energy and you got to raise your vibration. You got to double up on it. All right. So I want you guys to be aware of this, man. You know, because the, the, the traps is real. You know, and as long as you're following your path, you're staying righteous, you're going to be protected. You're going to be divinely protected. You feel me? You're going to have everything that you need. That's like by me, I don't worry about anything. You know, because I, I, I know I can always get it, whether it's money, whether it's food, you know what I'm saying? Anytime I need something, I don't worry about it. I just, I say it's already done. I put that affirmation out there and then, and then I let it go. And then somehow, some, some way, it always manifests in my life. And that's because I, 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 I believe in the most high, you know what I'm saying? I believe in the most high God in me. And I know that anything I need, I'm always going to have it as long as I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Okay, guys? So November is all about switching up your mindset, changing your mindset, being confident in your future, being confident in your present. Okay? Don't dwell on the past. The past is gone. All we can do is learn from the past. You feel me? Right now, it's all about being confident in who you are. Okay? In order for you to live the life that you want, to be protected, all that, is you gotta see it first. You gotta have a vision. You gotta write it down. You have to visualize, okay? Understand, that is real. Like, when you when you have dreams, when you have visions of what, of what you want your life to be like, that's real. When you're seeing it, that's a real place, but you gotta put the energy towards that. The same energy you put, you know, towards all these other things and all these uh, tragic events that's happening and you dwelling on it, you putting all your emotional power behind it, do that for yourself. 
all that emotion that you put towards these events that's happening, that that is the energy that's that you're giving your energy through your emotions. You feel me? So the way that you combat that is to not dwell on it. Okay? You disconnect yourself emotionally and put all your emotional energy into yourself. And then you're going to see things happen in your life. All right? That's the key. So, guys, I don't want this video to be too long, man. I just want to give you all a quick check-in on this Sunday. This is really supposed to be yesterday's video, Saturday, but something happened. I couldn't post my video, so I'm a little behind, but... Hey, man, I appreciate you guys for checking in, you guys for supporting, you know, and the, the channel's growing steadily, the channel's growing strong, so I have you guys to thank for that. With that being said, man, if you guys want to donate to the channel, I'll leave all my links in the description and in my pinned comments. Also, if you need a consultation, you want to speak to your boy, I'll leave a link for that as well. With that being said, y'all have a beautiful day.